in the coastal bin as millions across the country are dealing with extreme heat. A major concern is that many could lose power and their way to stay cool. Jay Gray has the latest details. The blazing summer sun is making things unbearable across much of the West right now. At least 50 million across the region dealing with extreme, in many cases, record-breaking heat. Usually this time of year we're seeing about 15 to 20 degrees cooler than this. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, the spike in temperatures and lack of rain has left 50 percent of the western U.S. in an extreme drought. Lake Mead's so low right now, officials are worried about their ability to continue providing drinking water and power to the region. We are looking at the possibility of declaring shortage in the lower basin for the first time ever. Power, also a problem in Texas, where residents are already dealing with unplanned outages as temperatures climb. I spent a month in Houston last year and it was not this hot. The Electric Reliability Council of Texas, ERCOT, now urging Texans to set their thermostats higher, turn off lights, and avoid using larger appliances until Friday. The provider warning, demand is dangerously close to their current supply, as officials investigate what they call mechanical problems at multiple plants. They want it, and they want it now. Many now rushing to buy generators, with memories still fresh from the winter storm that left millions in the state without electricity. The freeze kind of woke me up again a little bit about being prepared and not relying on the system. Concern that like the temperature is rising here. Jay Gray, NBC News, Dallas.